going to be the last video of this series uh, because it's finished and it's successful. And you probably noticed I'm not wearing any spectacles. Well, the other things that slowed me down a little bit because I've had both eyes cataract surgery and uh, so I can't wear my spectacles. I put this on this way because my best eye is that one and therefore I've taken out the lens and I put the lens in here, covered it with black electrical tape so I haven't got double vision. But they're getting me specs soon and I'll be uh, back in business. But that slowed me down a bit but now here it is and it's done and I'll show you a little bit more later when you see it run. Well. Here it is so far, I've had a couple of, oh, well, you know what I mean, situations where things didn't go right. But then, when I was an apprentice in Bristol in 1945, I always remember one of the first things the instructor said was, the man that makes no mistakes doesn't make anything. Anyway, so far, and let me come in a little closer, the valve mechanism. And this is working very nicely with the reversing gear. And and so far everything's working. Now basically, all I have to do is make the cover for here, make the linkage that connects to the reversing gear and uh, that's about it. I've made the caps of the cylinder or cylinders and uh, I, I think it's going to work. I, I modified uh, the way I do it, what I had to do was change these stops. I had to make new arms and new stops so that I could adjust them to the extremes I needed. And, uh, well, that's what I've done. And uh, uh, if I've done it right, you'll, <laughs> you'll soon find out, because if it doesn't run, uh, I uh, didn't do it properly. So, uh, but I hope before too long to be able to show you, let me sort of give you the action a little bit, but it's coming along and uh, I hope to be able to show you it running. As I say, the only thing to do next is the cap that fits and blocks off both steam boxes and uh, has a single steam or compressed air entry on this side. The exhaust of course comes out from the, the cylinder block the other side. Then I have to make this linkage which connects here to the uh, reversing gear and um, perhaps a few final adjustments then test it and uh, when I've done that you'll see the rest of this uh, video. So again, <laughs> Wish me luck. This is set up in the mill, just running in, breaking in. I'm going to reduce the speed. So far, so good. Try to see that it's the middle and now it's reverse. Here it is. This is the original single cylinder which I talk about. 
which was the original, the same general <coughs> valve system, which I scaled down to make this twin cylinder. And I started off by saying that all the troubles I had making the crankshaft, and we've gone through, but now it's done. And there it is, lovely little engine, I'm as pleased as punch, and you're going to see it running now. And oh golly, how happy I am. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you like it too. Here it is completed and here we go. It's self-starting. And of course it will run in reverse. I am really, really pleased. Let me come in a little closer. Still needs a little bit of breaking in, but it runs well, fast. This is on a very, very low pressure. I'm controlling it with a pistol grip, uh, just an ordinary blow gun. But uh, if I press too hard, it'll just blow them the little plastic tube off. I could make it go about as fast as that blowing into it but not very not for very long. But it's nice and free. Reverses well and I'm like a dog with two tails. I've worked like hell at this and uh, solved some problems. I know what the main problem was, and that was very simply I made a, a scaling error when I scaled it down, and uh, what I did, I forgot to scale down the uh, amount of offset on the eccentric on the crankshafts. Well, I'm not going to damn well make those crankshafts again, so uh, I found I had to change uh, a few little things and uh, the main thing is I had to make remake these stops here and found I didn't need stops at all on that end and but I put them on <laughs> not touching anything uh, really because uh, I just didn't like to leave empty tapped holes it looked odd so uh, but the rest and you can see the I'm going to stop it and I'll just show you that reverse linkage which is very simple and the gravity of this large knob just holds it in place. There we are. One more run and we're done. Okay, yeah, dog with two tails, that's it. <laughs>